This is the Virginia Beach Police Department. You're going to be tested physically. You're going to be tested emotionally. You're going to be tested psychologically. And we absolutely are going to test your integrity. Nothing will be given to you. Period. You guys are all here. You passed the first step. Step two is the academy. I am Sergeant Brian Marshall, the academy coordinator. Prepare yourself for it, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't had an academy in session for about three months. We are extremely excited to have you. Take a seat and sit down. Well, I'd suggest you all hurry up. My name is John Sharp. I'm 28. I'm originally from Utah. You know, the whole application process, you're putting your best traits forward. You have your initial application, you have a polygraph, you have a background interview, you have a background check, and then, you know, you have your PT assessment and everything else, and it's like, holy crap. It's seriously the longest freaking thing I've done in my life. They want all your family background, all your friends background, where you're from, who's this, it, it's just a lot. You show back up for the written test and the psychological evaluation, a couple more months go by and then it's the interview. Eight or nine individuals in a room, all expecting you to say the right thing. The people you're talking to are giving you, at least in my case, a very enthusiastic yes. Like, we're excited to have you, we're glad to have you, you're gonna do great. And so I came in <laughs> with the complete incorrect mindset. You know, it could it be shorter, it would be great, but you know, it is what it is. Day one is a unique adventure, not only from my standpoint, but from my squad leaders, right to the recruits. Everybody's usually excited about day one. The new group, the new batch, what can we expect? Hopefully we're getting what we would consider a good crop of recruits to, you know, to mold and, and grow. and ultimately you know, train them to come back and take our jobs at some point. As you get to know us through the course of the next 25 weeks, you will see probably just in this classroom, we have about 300 years of policing. Then most people really aren't sure what they're getting into. They have a, a novel idea, a media Hollywood enhanced image of what a police officer does. While we are not a military based program, we do have order, we do have structure, we do have discipline. That's all you get. You have to have it in order to, you know, not have chaos. I did not have a good orientation. I think I was probably more stressed then than I have been in any of the stressor situations they've created later on in the academy. You're a mess. You're with your families and everyone, and everyone's got a smile on their face, and everyone's so happy that you're here, and we appreciate you, and blah, blah, blah. And then families go this way, and we go this way. All right, without further ado, we're going to separate the parents and loved ones out to the hallway. We're going to give you a tour of the facility. 6-2, come forward. You definitely pushed having the support of your family and friends. And that's what I loved about the orientation night, because they're also showing that they care. Ask them how their day was. Get them to engage about it. Start those habits early. One of the biggest things that you guys can do is to let that support structure go to the wayside. At some point, they're going to need that structure. You build it early, then it becomes a routine. Don't wait till it's too late to try to develop into it, okay? But in reality, once we started, it was just us. This is a law enforcement training academy. They kind of gave you a little taste of the structure that was going to be coming in the following week. You will find the X on the floor right here. You will stand at attention facing the pole that's directly in front of you. Took notes. Some people weren't prepared. All right, so let's talk about grooming first. They told us to take notes on everything they were saying. And they discussed the male grooming standards and all the guys writing, writing, writing. They start to discuss the female ones and everybody stops writing. And so I just leaned over and I said, hey, you might want to write this down. There are females in the class as well. I suggest you keep your mouth shut. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. That is absolutely disrespectful and it will not happen in this classroom again. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. I had great intentions and terrible execution. We will line up in student number order. They gave you your number right then. You had to go to your shelf and grab it off. Group Bertrand, number two. People were struggling. They couldn't remember their number having to carry all that stuff and not drop it. And then you're already like sweating and I was in heels and I was like, 
oh my God, like I'm already like just like losing my mind and we haven't even started. I was kind of looking at everybody and trying to figure out, you know, okay, are these people competitive? Is this going to be like a competition? You know, who's the best recruit? And we're all type A personalities. All of us like to be in control of things, which is why we've had such an issue coming together as a class, but I don't know, it's hard. You guys have a lot to think about between now and next Thursday. As a team, you are very, very strong. As an individual, you're a party of one. We will weed you out very, very quickly. It's interesting because you spend the first third of the academy just breaking them down. They come here expecting a whole lot of physical fitness and physical training, you know, PT, but they don't know how much and what kind. They're expecting classroom, but they don't know the atmosphere. Nice of you two to join us today. And we make sure that they are told the rules, that they understand the rules, and what's going to happen if they don't follow the rules. It's not my fault you're not on time. Figure all the talking dead orientation, you know everything by now. My staff is, is unique. They all have their own specialties. They bring themselves into their job. For me, it's being fair and firm, but there's a time to induce stress. You asked to speak to me, you still call me sir. And there's a time to teach, coach, and mentor. Fight the pain, embrace the suck, and know that you're getting stronger every step of the way, and keep going. Yes, ma'am. A lot of my coworkers say I'm more of the passive aggressive one. Crew Cordero. Go find everyone from the cage and computer room and have them come back, please. First couple of days, uh, come in and be more rigid to help build that foundation. As a whole, your uniform appearance is garbage. Ironing boards, use them. They're going to expect somebody that is going to stress them out. I already got a draft of a resignation letter sitting in my office right now. All it needs is your name. Somebody that's going to that's gonna stay on them. Hurry up! Hurry up! Get to the right side of the hallway! Right side of the hallway! Right People confuse right the stress okay with she's not nice no I want to see how how are you uncomfortable you need to be uncomfortable you need to be able to live in uncomfortable anybody else need a potty break when she says something I expect you all to sound off is that understood yes, sir. if you can't stand getting yelled at you know or being told what to do or being dressed properly and looking professional I mean you're not gonna do it on the street yeah people not showing up in the Academy uniform that was a little rough you know, this is a paramilitary academy. Why don't you stand out here and show off your socks? On program? Look at that white thing. So there's a chain of command and there's a level of respect for your chain of command. Yes, they are learning essentially what their expectations are in the academy. At 0700, you will stand up and you will say the Pledge of Allegiance. Are we clear? Yes, yes ma'am! Let's get it done. I pledge allegiance! Drilling that discipline into you, it works. You know, it sucks but it works. And Bill Johansson's talking, you're trying to size me up. I don't know what's going on. That's not gonna happen, is that understood? Yes, sir. It's called respect. We will head to the auditorium for what's called icebreakers. Standing up on the stage and having to say, you know, who I was, how old I was, that I was married, that I had a son. I didn't want to share that with anybody. Stop moving your head. You're at position of attention. The only thing that should move is your mouth, not your eyes. It's not about the icebreaker itself. It's more about the attention to detail, stand at attention, stand still. Yes, sir. command presence. All of these are what you're going to need to become a police officer. Whether it's fear or nervousness, try to get the communication piece to it because let's face it, about 100% of our job is communication. We have no situational awareness at all. The training for Virginia Beach is just so incredibly high level. And honestly, it's like one of the last places where I can be paid to work out professionally. The first day is an introduction to, to calisthenics. And when I'm seeing them do push-ups, when I'm seeing them do squats, when I'm seeing them do flutter kicks, so you can see how coordinated some of these individuals are. Some come in physically prepared, most of them do not. That was a bit embarrassing because I actually had to be seen by rescue uh, after the first physical assessment. Walk you to the ambulance and then we'll, uh... I felt like I tried to prepare as best I could, but coming in, I mean, you got some serious PT studs in the academy and it's keeping up with them was just not going to happen. 1827! 1827! Some recruits stand out due to physical prowess. Some recruits stand out due to heart. But from the recruits, their biggest part right now is they're getting comfortable. They're comfortable in their own abilities right now. Some are still unsure of their abilities and that they even have the ability to be successful. But as long as they're in that classroom, 
Our goal is to successfully graduate them.